Hello mga kabayan! Welcome back to my channel, the Pinay Broad Vlog, the Kabayan Vlog version 2.0. Perfect! And since I'm your in-dev vlogger in Davos City, na nandito pa rin po sa UAE. Perfect! Oh, diba? Guys, for today's video, we will discuss about direct flight and cross-country. Sino-sino nga ba ang pwedeng makapag-direct flight and mag pwedeng mag-cross-country papasok ng UAE, ng Dubai, ng Abu Dhabi. So, this video, guys, is the first part of this topic. By the way, guys, just a disclaimer. Just a disclaimer. <laughs> Just a disclaimer, I'm not a travel expert. I'm not affiliated with any travel agency. I'm not an immigration officer. I am just um, an OFW here in the UAE. So this is basically based in my own experience, my friend's experience, my relative's experience, and based on a little bit of research. A little bit of research. Based on research <laughs> natin siya, guys. So, sino ba yung pwedeng makapag-direct flight dito sa UAE at Ano ba yung mga advantages and disadvantages of direct flight that you might have to to consider? So, if you're interested, let's start! By the way guys, if you're new to my channel, my name is Lerma and I'm an OFW here in the UAE, Middle East. And if you're interested, I make videos about my life here in the UAE, especially my life as a call center agent here in the UAE. So, if you're interested, please do Click the subscribe button and the notification bell para updated kayo sa aking mga vlogs. And guys, please follow me in my social media accounts, which I will paste here in the in the link below. In below. So, without further ado, let's start. So first things first, we have to discuss direct flight. Sino sino ba yung pwede makapag direct flight dito sa UAE papuntang UAE at hindi ba hindi ka na pwede mag cross country. So pwede ka makapag direct flight dito sa UAE if you have immediate family member. So alam na natin immediate family member if your mom is here, your uh, father is here, your sister, and also guys pwede ka din mag direct flight if you have like brother in law, sister in law, or cousin. First cousin lang guys. Um, sa second cousin guys, medyo mag-aalanganin ka na kasi um, the thing about um, immigration, yung, yung pag interview ni immigration is that you have to establish your relationship dun sa nagsusponsor sa'yo dito sa UAE. So, you have to, if it's second cousin, most probably you have to provide your grandparents uh, birth certificate, your parents birth certificate, and your birth certificate. Kasi nga, second cousin siya. So, kaya medyo alanganin siya. Um, first cousin, it is fine because you have, you just have to provide your uh, father's birth certificate, yung sino yung father or mother birth certificate, and kung sino yung magkapatid, and your and your cousin's birth certificate para may establish na magka, magka mag-anak talaga kayo. Now, Kung may mag sponsor sa inyo dito guys uh, sa UAE, you have they have to provide affidavit of support. Ano ba yung affidavit of support? Just a general idea kung ano yung affidavit of support. Affidavit of support is a document guys stating that they will be sponsoring your food here, your accommodation, travel allowances. Kaya nga kapag ano ka, kapag may immediate family member ka dito sa UAE, sa Dubai, Abu Dhabi at ibang Emirates, um, hindi na kailangan na may trabaho ka or may kinikita ka sa Pilipinas kasi nga sila na yung magsu-sponsor ng mga gastusin mo dito sa UAE. That's the good thing, advantage of having a relative here in the UAE. Kailangan na sila mag-provide ng affidavit of support. Another document, guys, if you have a um, family member here, if, you're spons if you you will be sponsored by a family member here, um, they have to, you have to provide yung document na mag establish ng relationship nyo. Yun na nga, sa for example, your mom, of course, your birth certificate, kasi nandun naman yung pangalan niya. And then, yung mga documents ng mom nyo na nag-proof na, 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 that what is her what is her job here. For example, Emirates ID, ano pa ba, contract, um, yun. Yung mga, yung mga document na yun. Alam na yun, kung sino man yung magsusponsor sa inyo, alam na nila ano mga document na kailangan ni provide. So, that is for immediate family member. Sino-sino pa ba ang pwedeng makapag-direct flight dito sa UAE? So, this is um, 
And this is there is a case guys na ang friend ko he, she sponsored her boyfriend. So if you have boyfriend or girlfriend you can also sponsor uh, sponsor her or him. Um and nangyari guys yun sa friend ko this is really uh, a true story a true story. <laughs> yung friend ko guys ano yung paano siya lumusot kasi yung first guess is kinakabahan talaga siya kung makakapasok ba yung boyfriend niya dito. Kasi apat na taon naman din, din siya dito sa UAE at kumikita naman siya ng sapat dito sa UAE. So, ano na ba yung mga documents na, na hinanap sa kanya? Siyempre, yung uh, Emirates ID niya nga, yung mga documents niya dito sa UAE, yung kontrata niya, kung ilang taon na siya dito sa UAE, kung nasa inside the contract pa ba siya ng employment niya. And then, may inas talaga ng mga personal pictures na na proof na matagal na sila kasi medyo parang ilang taon na ba sila? Mga 3 years na din sila or 4 years something like that. So mga picture and para ma-establish na matagal na kayo at may relasyon talaga kayo kasi baka naman 'di ba nagsisinungaling kayo no? Sisinungaling lang kayo na hindi naman kayo hindi naman kayo magkarelasyon. Magkarelasyon ka nang talaga. So, yun yung inasa kanya and then yung binigay niyang rason is that mag-ano sila, mag anniversary sila at that time and kailangan magsa-celebrate sila ng ganun. So, kumuha siya ng one month uh, visit visa dito sa UAE. Um, so, that's it guys. Sino pa ba ang mag, pwedeng mag-direct flight? So, pwede din kayo mag-direct flight dito sa UAE if your profession is, you know, pwede mong, um, i let's face it guys. Kasi pag nag-travel ka naman, you have to establish talaga kung afford mo bang mag-travel dito sa bansang to. So, if you are, if your work is doctor, attorney ka, or engineer, yung sapat yung kinikita mo, guys, pwede kang mag-direct flight dito. Or, if you have business and you can prove, you have documents to prove that your business, this is your business and you're earning, um, about, you're earning this much, um, for your business. So, that is fine. You can have, you can, um, direct flight here in the UAE in Dubai. Para basta ma-establish mo lang na afford mong mag-travel. Pero guys, kung hindi mo naman afford mag-travel, like for example, um, ano ka lang, yung parang cashier ka lang sa Pilipinas o alam mo yun, hindi naman sa nag, nag-discriminate kasi bas, pero yun talaga, kasi talaga yung, um, kailangan mong i-prove yung capacity mo to travel in this country. Um, Another thing is, ano pa ba? Um, advantages ng direct flight, guys, of course, it's less gastos. Kasi hindi ka nagagastos ng pang another stay mo pa sa, sa, mag, sa ibang country. Direct flight na siya. Hindi ka na mag, magagastos pa ng, um, what do you call that? Um, alam mo yung mga, hindi ka na mag-provide ng itinerary, ganun. Hindi ka na mag-provide ng flight ticket to to another country. Yan yung uh, advantage ng direct flight. Another advantage of direct flight, guys, is that can, um, as long as um, mag-provide mo yung mga documents na kailangan at yung mga affidavit of support, uh, yung ano, proof of your relationship, medyo madali na lang siya guys sa direct flight. As long as you can provide these documents. Um, ang disadvantages lang guys, may nabasa ako ha na, uh, na for under their law, law in the UAE na uh, kailangan at least minimum of 4,000 dirhams yung kinikita no magsasponsor sa'yo or at least um, 3,000 dirhams plus accommodation. So, like 3, 3, 7, like 3, 8. So, ito yung, ano, yung minimum na sahod nung kailangan mag-sponsor sa'yo. So, pag, for example, lang, ma-earn lang sila ng 2,000, 1, 8, hindi na yun siya, parang medyo alanganin na yun siya para mag-visit, visit ka or magpa-sponsor kayo dito. So, yan na pum dyan na pumapasok yung um, ano ba, yung what do you call that? Cross country. So, mag-cross country kayo guys if may, wala kayong malapit na kamag-anak dito sa UAE at saka 
yun, wala kayo malapit na kamag-anak dito sa UAE na magsasponsor sa'yo. So, dyan na pumapasok yung cross-country. That is another option. That is uh, what I did at kasi wala nga ako nga mag-anak dito. That is another option that you have to consider kung wala kayo sa mga sumusunod yung mga na-mention ko na mga kamag-anak at kakilala dito sa UAE. So, in my next video, we will discuss about cross-country. Ano ba yung mga disadvantages and advantages ng cross-country? Ano mga ginawa ko, pinarambay ko nung nag-cross country ako. Kasi nga, I made a video like initial video of it but there are still a lot of questions so I will answer that in the next part of this video. Thank you so much guys for watching and I hope you guys learned something. If you have questions, suggestions and comments um, by basically guys, please do um, put that in the comment section below and then I will answer that to the best of my ability. Please also suggest ano pa yung mga next video na kailangan nyo or need nyo or mga information na gusto nyo malaman dito in the UAE. So, thank you so much guys and I hope do click the subscribe <laughs> And guys, if you are interested to know more about working here in the UAE and my life here in the UAE, please do subscribe and click the notification bell para updated kayo sa aking mga vlogs. And also follow me guys please in my social media accounts, in my Instagram, and also in my Facebook page guys. Kasi nag-upload ako ng mga full videos there in my Facebook page. Thank you so much guys! Bye!